I don't know any other thing except making art since I was little. I wasn't really good at math and I was really good at science. I know, but I was very good at creating something. What I wanted to do is make beautiful art. So I did everything, included oil painting, watercolor, pottery, you know, craft kind of thing and contemporary art. I try to learn everything I can possibly learn, but I don't want to do whatever everybody's doing. I just have to make my own. Now I'm doing this, obsessed with paper. The paper is a recycle. It's a huge roll. We use about 800 rolls so far, a little over, and it's so well packed and rolled. The paper, we just put it on the turntable. The table I made, you don't want to unroll and re-roll too tight. So if you unroll and re-roll with a space between paper, it gives you all those lines. And that's what I want. You really have to be careful not to get paper cut. We have to drag it and put it on the floor, and I have to jiggle it. You don't have to make a drawings with pen. This is my drawings with the line. Each line is my drawings here, so you can change it. For example, when you do this, when you do this, you can make any many drawings you want, moving drawings, and this. So you can you can't really you know predict it, and they just give you amazing shape. So I just have to make everything flat because it's flexible. Move around and shape around a little bit and then hold it and move on to the wall. Then we fasten many, many brackets. Probably I got 1,200 brackets and it's, it's in there, but I'm not showing it. You have to hide it. Instead of making everything flat, I want to make a little bit of three-dimensional shape. So it's a visually, it looks much better and when light hits it, it doesn't look total flat. So you have to recreate some of this technique, make piece looks more interesting. But that's the magic of paper. This is humongous scale. This wall right here, not easy wall to work with for this installation, but I'm so happy with this kind of fan-shaped wall. It makes it look better. Here at the ground for sculpture, and this is, I have to think about this scale-wise. I don't want to overwhelm by color, and things have to sit very comfortable with this space, so that's why I choose shiro. And shiro means more like a white, and this is inspired by when Chim and I, my other half, drove Washington to uh, Alaska. We went to uh, the site, you know, Glacier National Park. They have thousands of thousands of years of glacier and it's melting away and, and yet it's so beautiful. It's all nature. I never seen that many stars in my whole life. It's this perfect shape, but and yet, and yet they're falling apart. So that's kind of recreation of glacier. So this is cut it like slice part of glacier to me and the other side is melting and breaking from the wall and sitting on the you know, water or floor that is recreation of glacier and shiro for me it is like amazing this a simple kind of paper became transformed with this insulation it is just beautiful as it is I am so lucky to bring those ideas into here at the Ground for Sculpture with this scale. I'm so happy. I don't really want to make a huge goal for my career. As long as I can keep making art, I'm succeeded. I don't know, um, at this point, I can be able to work with any other thing except paper. I haven't finished working with paper.
Thank you.